that was Death Valley. That was the place where opponents' dreams come to die. If I had told you before this game the winner would have 258 yards rushing, 37 minutes of time of possession, and go 11 of 19 on third down conversions, how many of you would have picked LSU with all its troubles along the offensive line? We rushed for some yards. We finally got some possession time. We were finally pretty good on third downs. Stud did a great job getting them going. Young guys, uh, DeRossett goes in there and just, it's just exactly what we needed at the left tackle. Veteran understood what he needed to do, played a cagey uh, opponent, um, moved athletically, you know, did not over, um, you know, commit in his moves, did a great job. And those guys really came together. A lot of people were doubting them, saying those DNs were going to kill them today, and they kind of took that as disrespect. And I think they came out and showed the world what they can do as a team. And um, Coach Studd did a great job of keeping those guys motivated and keeping them on the right track tonight, and I think they showed that. Some guys came to play, and some guys just didn't play. I don't know if it's because of injuries or they were scared or what. They were still in this game in the fourth quarter, but Marcus Lattimore, many consider the best back in the league, never got a single handoff when the game was on the line. It's tough, but, you know, I, I, I can't, you know, hang my head down. Yeah, they came out very physical. I don't know if, you know, how strong we came out, but like I said, we had chances. We just left them on the board. I don't know if he got hit in the head tonight or not. I kept asking GA, did he get hit in the head somewhere? Because his, some of his decision making was a little off. And they're a big, strong team that can run the ball and stop the run. And uh, that uh, was the biggest difference in the game, probably. And a lot of credit goes to the LSU game plan. They mixed it up, throwing on first down, running the Wildcat. The screen game mixed in well, and of course with Jeremy Hill emerging. Our line did a great job all night, man. They were opening those holes up. If you go back and watch the film, you would see that. So um, I'm just reading the benefits of those guys blocking. Just mix it up, trying to keep defenses on their toes. I mean, that's what good offenses do. Uh, it always starts with a physical up front and uh, running the ball efficiently. And uh, you know, we got back to our LSU style of play tonight. And uh, you know, like I said, man, we just gotta keep rolling from this win. The progress that they've made just in one week, you know, it's beautiful and uh, just gave us momentum. You know, we feed off of them a lot, so just to see them uh, attack, you know, attack that team like they did, you know, it gave us a lot of confidence. When they think that we're a predictable offense, you know, we surprise them and do a little different things. You know, so I think Coach Studd and Coach Miles, they did a really great job with the grand plan this weekend. You know, I think the uh, stressing that, you know, we have to win, went out to make it to the national championship, you know, it kind of changed the mentality of uh, the coaches and also the players. From Tiger Stadium, Steve Schneider, WAFB 9 Sports.